Hey guys, what's up, it's Raven. Summer is almost over for us. School starts in about a week and I wanna do one last little shindig for the kids, like an end of summer bash. I think I wanna do a backyard movie night pool party with like a glow party twist to it. So I think the easiest thing would be if we just come out here and visually map everything out. The main thing for this party is the fact that it's supposed to be an outdoor movie night. I do already have a projector screen and I want us to be able to watch the movie from the pool, like floating in the pool, looking at the projector screen. I've never tried this before, but I'm thinking that we could set it up on one of these two sides of the pool. In theory, it would be cool to be able to put it up on top of the water fountain, but I don't think that's gonna work logistically as far as setting up the projector. So I think just here or here. But we definitely are gonna have to test that out because like I said, I've never tried it. We've only used the projector once before and it was at my mom's house on her deck. So I'm not sure what's possible. I definitely think this side versus that side is gonna be easier because those big lounge chairs over there are heavy and hard to move and not really in a good place to move them, but these are easier to move. We've done it before where we've like just scooted these, scoot all this stuff over here out the way and then we could put the projector like this to the pool. And then the only thing I'm not sure about is how the actual projector, like the screen, I know we can set up here, but the actual projector, ideally it would be behind the screen, but does that work? It does. If you want it behind the screen, you have to like flip the image because you'll be seeing it backwards. I think that should work, but we definitely need to test it out because I don't want to get to the day of the party yeah. and like yeah. nothing works. Yeah. And that's like the main part. It's like movie night pool party. So without the movie, it's no movie night. And then I really want to do a glow party theme to it because it's gonna have to be after dark to do the projector. The pool already has the lights built in that like change color and stuff. So we can have those going. But then I, I've also seen they have like these glowing orbs that you can put in your pool that like float on the water, glowing beach balls and floaties and like all types of glow in the dark pool stuff that we can like fill the pool up with, have the lights going and then get like glow sticks and like little things for the kids to wear. We could get some like glow in the dark lawn games too. Oh yeah. Um, that might be fun if like the kids get tired of swimming or being in the pool and they wanna like run around. Yeah, cause I, they definitely are. <laughs> they are not gonna sit in the pool for the full duration of the movie. So yeah. definitely some sort of like games, activities, just little fun stuff to sort of like put like around the pool too. That's really the main thing for actually like out by the pool. The other thing would be like our concession stand mm -hmm. for the movie night, which I feel like it just makes the most sense to put it up here on the wet bar. And you have, you've rented a popcorn machine like multiple times now. So do you want to rent one again? I don't know if we have enough time to rent one, but I would not be opposed to buying one. Yeah, if anyone's gonna point, own a popcorn machine, it, it would exactly. be you, yeah. I, I feel like they can't be that expensive. Like for a tabletop one, mm -hmm. that'd be fun to own. I would definitely use it. Yeah. So like more than once. And we could put it up here on the countertop, have the popcorn machine going, maybe even like slushies or something. I don't know if like slushy machines are reasonably priced. I, I desperately want a slushy machine. I love slushies. Like the actual one that dispenses and like at the gas it, station. Like that spins. Yeah. Something like that to set up the concessions. And then of course like candy and nachos, hot dogs, we could grill hot dogs. Yeah. You know, drinks stocked up in the fridge. And so everything would just be there and here. And like, that's the party, nothing inside. We don't want any Coming reason to be going in and out. So we only have a couple of days to do this party, but the good news is I actually already have a lot of leftover like movie night concession stand type stuff like popcorn buckets and stuff like that. So we're kind of ahead of the game. I have these paper nacho boats from Zaya's Barbie party. The main things I really definitely want to use are these popcorn tub thingies. We actually have two sizes. Ooh. Got those, this, we even have this kind, which I think I would rather use these, but we have yeah. that. What else would we need? If we're doing like nachos, hot dogs, we don't really need silverware and stuff, but I have. Are we gonna make some kind of punch? Do we need cups? Some cups. I was thinking more like juice boxes, Cokes. Cause like at a concession stand, you wouldn't be drinking punch. But if we were to do like the slushies, I have, the thing is I have the slushy cup tops. 
Oh. And the slushy cup straws from before, but I don't have the slushy cups that go with these tops because we used up all the cups and not the tops. Gotcha. But I wonder if I could find the right size cup that goes with it. Do they fit those it. cups? No. We could do like some big candy platter or we could do like a big candy bowl and mix a whole bunch of candies together. What I actually want to do is do like a little party favor for the kids. Mm -hmm. And we did something similar. Let me show you. Which this might be cute just to like put some something in like use as a container just because it goes with the theme. But we have these which this is actually from Zaya's third birthday. We did a carnival party. These were just plain white and we actually custom cricketed this stuff on because we wanted it to be this certain color. So if we got these same sort of containers, I think that would be cute for a party favor to like customize it for each kid. And instead of saying popcorn, it would say their name. And we can buy like their favorite candy and yeah, like- Yeah, so that's what I was thinking for the candy, just so it's more individual and not buying so much candy to like lay out. We could put some of like the glow sticks and stuff, like toys, and just make it like a little goodie basket with their name, make it cute. Mm -hmm. and so each kid gets one of these just to have to take home to like actually use for their popcorn at home. But then to actually eat the popcorn, they can use the other ones. Yeah. And then I think I also have, yeah, I've got movie themed napkins Ooh. from before. And I have this stuff, this type of nacho container where you put your cheese and your chips, this hot dog thing, this, and then you put the little paper sheet inside of it like that and put your hot dog in there. I mean, we have these little red plates if we need plates for something else. And I also have these which are like for like a pretzel or something. Yeah, pretzel sleeves. Depending on what snacks we have. And I also have more movie night stuff out here, like more like decor type stuff. Cause I've done two, at least two movie night related parties and I kept the stuff in our nicely labeled containers. Ooh, you're welcome. Yes, thank you, Zoe. This is our miscellaneous party decor from all the different themes I've done. Mermaid, luau, all types of stuff in here. But I know we at least have this. Cute. Set that up somewhere. This is a big Hollywood yard sign. It's like that and it says Hollywood. Cute. And then I know I have some letters that say cinema that I made. Oh, we have this. We can hang this up above the concession area or something. Yeah. On the patio. Now showing these wooden letters that spell out cinema. They, they can be used some kind of way. And then I also have the projector stuff out here, which like I said, we haven't used this since, I don't know, was that last year or the year before that we did it at my mom's house? LED projector. And then the actual screen is like a series of poles. This is just the screen in here. So we definitely need to just test it, run it, make sure everything still works and we know how to use it and that our idea is gonna work. Oh, it's so hot. Okay, let's see about this projector situation. Make sure it even works. It should, but I think basically you just put the things in the thing and the thing in the thing. I believe it simply goes like this. No. I believe it simply goes like this. I think for the sound bar, I think maybe let's get the projector up first and then we can get sound. Thank you. 
Friday, T minus two-ish days. We're having the party on Sunday. Um, I want to work on the party favors. Zoe so graciously went to Party City and picked up these clear plastic scalloped containers, which look just like little popcorn boxes. So this is what I wanna customize to make the little party favors for the kids. This is a project that we've done before. My mom actually did it for Zaya's, that was her third birthday, right? The carnival mm -hmm. party was her third birthday and we used them as centerpieces. So we wanted it to be a certain color and she customized it. I'm actually trying to see if she still has the Cricut file, cause then that would really come in clutch cause it's the same exact container so I can just use the design that we made and then I'll just change it when we did it we just had it say popcorn but for this I wanted to say each kid's name so if we could pull up this design that we had then I can just change the text to say the kid's name and then I won't have to remake the whole design from scratch because I want to have the stripes and then the name on it and we got this glow in the dark adhesive vinyl. I ordered it off of Amazon. It came in this multi-pack of all these different colors so I can do each kid a different color. I know Zaya's gonna want pink. So I do like pink for Zaya, green for Levi, whatever. And it actually really does glow. At first I thought it wasn't working, but I figured out it needs to be charged, charged in the sun first. I think I remember seeing some reviews that were saying like, oh, it barely glows, it doesn't work, but they probably didn't realize that you have to put it out in sunlight first for it to work. So like just hold it in the sun for a little bit and then, and then it works really well. You see Zaya? Yeah. I wonder what else we can make with this vinyl. I'm gonna have a lot left over. Ooh. Unfortunately, my mom was not able to find the design that we made previously. So I do have to make one from scratch, but it shouldn't be that hard. I'm just gonna do a new project on the Cricut. Y'all always ask me for like Cricut tutorials. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making this stuff up. So I'm not the best to teach you things. I know for this, I wanna put the kid's name. So let's do Zaya as the first example. I guess, is there a certain popcorn font I should be trying to emulate? It's kinda got like this carnival font situation where it's got those little spikes on it. So I actually found a similar font by typing in Western because it kind of has that Western feel. I'm gonna download this one. So here's the font I just downloaded and I need to see what size. So I'm just gonna measure. Hmm, we got about four and a half inches to work with. I probably wouldn't make the name any bigger than like three, 3.75 and then lengthwise, it's like six inches. So if I change the name width to 3.75, and then going back to the inspo pick, it's got the stripes, it has a circle and stripes. Circle border, wait a minute, it should just be, this is what I mean when I say I don't know what I'm doing because I don't even know how to make, I'm sure there's a way to take this circle and just make it an outline but how do I do that? Okay, I'm gonna figure out how to put a circle and some stripes going around it and I will check back in. I have decided to try designing on Canva instead because I don't like the Cricut designer situation. Six hours later, not really. I just was messing around with the different shapes on Canva to try to somewhat get the idea of this. I wasn't able to get it like exactly. If I really wanted to go into Photoshop and like take a long time, I could make it more exact, but I'm just trying to do this kind of quickly. So I'm gonna save this as a transparent background PNG. Then I'm gonna bring this PNG file into the Cricut. I'll try this. These dimensions should look decent on this. We'll see. Now we'll cut one out and try it. Hopefully this cut, I'm not familiar with this vinyl. Okay, it looks like it cut okay. I'm gonna trim my excess before I cut this out. And then we weed. Dun, da, da, da. Size wise, 
I wanted it to cut off a little bit at the bottom like that, so I think we're good. I'm just gonna mark that and then slice it. Transfer tape. I always like to de-stick it a little bit so it's not so sticky. off of here, line it up on here. Try and line it and center it, stick it. And peel this. Perfect, that's cute. So I placed an Amazon order for the stuff that I wanted for this party. I got like some cool glow in the dark floaty stuff for the pool and just stuff like that. But I also was thinking about the movie night theme and I've rented a popcorn machine before for um, another movie night party that I did. But I'm like, if I'm gonna keep renting these types of machines, I might as well just own one. So I started looking into actual popcorn machines that I could buy and I found this one on Amazon and it wasn't badly priced. I feel like it was reasonably priced for what it is. It was on Amazon Prime. It came in a cute black and silver color scheme that matches my decor and everything. So I ordered it clearly. I'm trying to get it out. Oh, they got it tight in here. It's like a legitimate kind of like retro style, real live popcorn machine. The problem is, like I said, I've rented this before and I had a friend, I don't remember which friend it was. That time I rented it, they like set it up and got it running for me. So I didn't even do it that time. So I have no idea how to work one of these. So that's why I wanna unbox it now and do like a test run so we can make sure that we're not having problems with it on the night of the party. Wow, cool. They had a few different options on Amazon. Like they had a more affordable one that was like smaller, but it was like plastic instead of glass and metal. And it just, it didn't give the same like real movie theater effect that this one gave. I was like, if I'm gonna get one, I'm gonna get one, you know? And this is not even like the biggest, nicest one you can get, but I felt like it was a better choice than like the little cheap ones. How am I supposed to get this out? It came with bags, more bags. I've got an overload of like popcorn bags now. There, it's just a little magnet. Got our little scooper. It actually came with these nice plastic popcorn things. Other little measurers. It did not come with a pack of popcorn or oil and I forgot to order that separately. So I have to get that. We actually will not be able to run it unless we can run it with, I don't know what other kind of oils you can use because I have kernels. I'm gonna try it with coconut oil. Google says you can do it with coconut oil. This has the instructions on it. Switch on the light and the heater. Let's plug it in, of course. Switch on the light and the heater. Add one tablespoon of oil for every half cup of popcorn. Let heat for three to four minutes. Once oil is heated, turn on the stirrer and add popcorn kernels. So you just put the oil in first, let it heat up. Mmm, delicious. One, approximately one tablespoon of oil. Help. I was trying not to do that. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> it's smoking. That doesn't seem good. It got really hot really fast. Is that steam or smoke? I hope it's steam. It feels like it's burning. I'm gonna put this in. Oh, turn on the stir. Put in the kernels. There it goes. The only bad reviews I saw for it was there's a little gap in the door right here and they say it shoots out hot kernels sometimes. So like, watch out. Oh, there it goes. Wow. Put some of this on it and taste it. We need to make sure we get some more of this. This is our last little. Mm. 
My best friend has socks. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> we need the real oil to do it with so it gives it a better flavor. And then, yeah, we need the toppings. But it works and it's not hard to use, so that's good. Okay, so it's like two weeks later. We had a few technical difficulties on the original night that we planned to have this pool party. We were trying to have it before school started, like the last weekend before school started, but a lot of things happened. I won't go into it. We had to reschedule. So two weeks later, the party is tonight. It's Friday. School has already started, but it's still sort of like, you know, still end of summer party, still makes sense. We pretty much have everything ready to go, order stuff off of Amazon, have everything at the house, but we just pulled up to Walmart so we can get the groceries and just last few final things. So we got the hot dogs, the buns, all the popcorn stuff and toppings and drinks for the kids. And I still need to get soda, candy, and stuff for nachos and an extension cord. Tostitos cheesy enchilada dip. Never had it, won't be having it, but maybe someone will. <laughs> Cause you know, glow stuff is only like a one time use thing. But I'm just thinking about the popcorn things. We have like the two boxes of candy, a few of the glow stuff shoved in there. You know, I want something. How can I make it cuter? I mean, it's cute on the outside cause they're personalized. I guess it's fine how we have it. Oh, they have these whole sets. 200 piece set for how much? 20 bucks. I mean, what I got off Amazon is cool. I'm not mad at what I got, but they've got hats, <laughs> necklaces, oh. this. I'll get these. It's $3. One 50 foot light duty, not heavy duty, because I don't have heavy duty, extension cord to reach from the patio all the way down to where the projector is going to be. I feel like 50 feet should be enough. <laughs> finish off these popcorn goodie buckets that we started. We've got all the decals on them glow in the dark with each kid's name. They turned out super cute. I wanna fill them with candy, first and foremost. I got Sour Patch Kids and M&Ms, one for each. I was just gonna put them in there like that. I decided to just make it all equal, that way there's no fighting. <laughs> And I'm gonna try to be as equal as possible with everything else too. I should be able to. I got all this like LED, instead of like glow in the dark, it's LED so it actually lights up and it should last longer than just regular glow in the dark stuff. So does it work though? Oh yeah, color changing LED lights. Got little bracelets, rings, glasses. So I definitely wanna give each kid glasses. Is there a matching color for their color? That would be cute. Green, red, pink, we don't have orange. That's the only one we're missing, so maybe I'll just give the white instead of purple. We'll keep purple to the side. Rings, I have more than enough stuff in here. Like, I don't even know what these are. Oh, these are like finger clips, I remember now. You're supposed to, I don't know how they work. I have to look back on the picture on Amazon, but it's like something you put on the tips of your fingers so you can do that <laughs> rave thing, I guess. So I think you're supposed to get I don't know, we'll still do five. I'll maybe just set the extras out somewhere or save them for another event, honestly. <laughs> maybe I'll have an adult glow party. Then I have these bubble wands, which I wasn't sure if it would like make it topple over. No, that works. Blue, Malachi's, Malachi and Levi have perfect buckets. These other colors, a little mismatch, but I did my best. And then it also came with these little LED hair extensions. I don't know if the three boys want that, but they might. 
a little clip-in light up hair thingy. Wow. <laughs> so this is the finished little goodie box for the kids. They are obviously gonna take out all this stuff and like use it during the party, play with the glow in the dark stuff, play with the bubbles, eat the candy. And then if they want to, they can use their bucket to eat popcorn out of during the party. But we also have other ones, but then definitely like take all this home and use it for when they make popcorn at home. So I think that turned out super cute. Then we've also got just some leftovers of the LED stuff. I'll just set that out. And then this one is glow lanterns, but you gotta build them. They came in pieces. So I thought, well, why not just make that an activity for the kids to build their own glow lantern at the party. Put this back in here for the instructions and all this will be set out. Mm -hmm. These glow in the dark. But like they have something in them that like it has a to turn on. LED something. I forgot. I don't know how it turns on or if it's like just glow in the dark. Oh, they open and then I think you have to switch it on. Yeah. Okay, so the party is about to start. We're setting up the last few things, having a little bit of trouble with the projector screen. So the wind is making it impossible for this to stand up, even with it being weighted. It's just a giant like sailboat sail. So executive decision, I think we need to cut wind holes, but I don't want to like do it in the main center area, but will it be enough if I just put it like in the corners, you think? I think you might want to put it in the middle. But it's gonna be right in the movie. <laughs> Like, like aerodynamics, all of the wind, like it's catching in that center point. So I, I, like a funnel, you know? I guess, we don't have much other, unless we were to like, no. It's a little air slit. Yeah, see, that would be fine. Women in STEM, a little bit of twine, a little bit of ingenuity. We, I don't know what you call this, supported it by tying it to my furniture. <laughs> it's working for now. Hopefully that stays up. And then well, we gotta put your swimsuit on and we have more stuff to throw in there. Who wants a snow cone? I guess it's technically shaved ice, because there's a difference. So, I've never done this before, but from what I understand, you just put a block of ice in here. So you gotta hold your cup. Okay, ready? Let's see, is it working? Yeah, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> Oh, 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 grape and cherry. Yes. Oh. Woo, and then here's your little spoon thingy. Okay, wait, 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 do a taste test for us. Stir it up maybe, because that's gonna be real flavorful on the dark part. It's good. 